Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, my name is Rosa and today I'm going to be talking about the things I wish I knew before coming to study in the Netherlands and it's not only the stuff I personally wish I had known uh, but I actually asked this on um, uh, like a forum, no, like a Facebook page where there are many international students from the city where I actually studied in and uh, this is basically like uh, like a shortened version of all the tips that I received so well uh, if you think you will like this video please already give me a like and yeah don't forget to subscribe okay uh, without further ado let's just start So the first tip uh, that I would like to give you is that you should prepare in advance for the first day of school. I didn't and uh, I was really surprised because uh, the teacher was already expecting an assignment from us which I had no idea about so apparently it was on a, a website called Blackboard which I didn't know how to access but yeah my tip is like uh, try to figure out everything because like they can't expect you to come prepared already for the first class like I don't know how it is in your own country but in my country the first day is like whatever the teacher just calls and tells us hi my name is Anne and I'm going to teach you math and yeah here is the syllabus and like get to know each other and tell me something about yourself and how are you today and how are your holidays but here is like okay let's start studying so yeah be ready for that like at least you don't have to prepare like one cool thing about myself, you know, like, and you are like, oh, I'm just the most average person ever, so I have no idea what to say now. Um, so yeah, <laughs> good luck with that. Uh, get ready before your first class. So now you have time. This video is airing much before the uh, classes are starting, so be ready. The second tip that I consider very useful was given to me by someone else and that is to actually search for an accommodation many months in advance before you're supposed to come so try to make the decision about where you're going to study quite early on uh, and already start looking for houses uh, because uh, like the situation with housing in the Netherlands is not exactly easy so unless you really get uh, some accommodation assured by the school and you are like sure you want to take this accommodation you should um, yeah you should be searching really early on because um, the, in the Netherlands they also do one thing uh, when it comes to accommodation that is it's not that you just apply for a house and you get it like they often do an interview to see if you fit uh, with the housemate from you know this given house or the flat or whatever so you will have to pass this test and they will ask you things like what music do you listen to and yeah what movies do you watch and my advice is just be honest because well I mean if you say listen to heavy metal and all your roommates like to listen to K-pop well probably there is not gonna be a match there so yeah I know I, I know it's not so important right like I mean unless you're listening with like 180 decibels Okay, the housing situation is difficult, just find a house early on. Uh, the next tip uh, is regarding the public transport. As a student, you won't usually have a car, lucky you if you have one, uh, but you will probably have to travel sometimes with the public transport, either to get to school, unless you have a bike, which is another topic, uh, to try to get a bike early on if you can cycle, or even if you can't, I mean, you might as well learn, right? I have a friend who learned how to cycle perfectly within a couple of weeks, so if she could, you can as well. Um, and yeah, like a very important thing you should uh, get regarding the public transport is this, it's an OV chip card. You can order it online um, and you can you can buy different like packages with it, like you can just uh, have the basic card, um, just pay for it and add money every time you need to travel. You need like 20 euros at least every time you're going to travel by train. Uh, for traveling by bus you can get even to like minus four euros uh, and then you have to like reload the money on the card mm. but basically you can get different packages so one that I would really recommend as a student and which I had when I was studying was the free weekends 
where you pay about 30 euros per month and it gives you uh, free weekends from like 6.30 on Friday, like 6.30 p.m. on Friday until Monday morning 4 a.m. and you can travel by train through all the Netherlands with just this 32 euros. Plus, it gives you 40% discount during the week of peak hours, of course, like you cannot uh, travel with discount during peak hours, which is between 6.30 in the morning and 9.30 in the morning, and uh, then between 4 p.m. and 6.30 p.m. So those times you don't get any discount, but I think for those 30 euros it very well pays off. Otherwise, you can just buy the discount, which is 50 euros per year. And if you're a Dutch student, like if you have the Dutch nationality or if you are European and you work at least 56 hours, you might as well um, get like this travel product for, for free actually. So try that if you can. Like I didn't work so I couldn't, but uh, I think it's a very interesting option to explore. Um, moreover, another thing I would like to mention that my friends have told me, it's very important to check in and check out with this card. It's not that you just have the card and you have money and you can travel. Uh, when you enter to many train stations, there are actually like gates, like when you enter to the metro, or, like subway, you know, um, and you have to put this card and like do beep, and then the gates will open. But many of like the smaller train stations don't really have the gates, so they just have like a sort of a pole where you have to actually like check in. And if you don't, I mean, you might as well not, but then you will get a fine because you're actually not paying for the ride. So, well, when you enter, check in, wherever you see it, with the pole. Uh, when you get out, check out, so it stops taking money. And it will calculate like the shortest route you could have taken for doing this trip and it will charge you the correct amount. Like, I have never had a bad experience with this, like, I never got charged too much. I mean, it's expensive, but I never got charged like more than I was supposed to. Uh, moreover, there are like different companies. Uh, there is the NS, which is like uh, the yellow and blue trains, you know, put the picture here so you get the idea. Then there is Arriva, uh, and there are some other regional um, train companies. So most of them have like different check-in uh, gates or check-in poles. So, what I recommend you is to download the 9292 app where you can see with which company are you going to travel for your route and then make sure to check in and check out correctly according to the uh, to the companies that you are traveling with. Sometimes you will have to do it uh, halfway through your trip. So let's say you start traveling um, first with the NS and then you have to change into a train that is Arriba. So you have to actually get to the pole and like check out from NS and check in into Arriba. It's a bit complicated, but once um, once you are used to it and you will, yeah, you will grasp, grasp it really quickly, don't worry. Um, and if you don't, uh, just ask the people around, like uh, show them on your phone where you're going and like try to go for the Dutch people, of course, <laughs> they actually like are used to the system and they can help you, but that's it, like they, they will for sure be very glad to help you. Okay, now I'm going to be reading like some advice uh, that my friends, well, or some random people gave me on uh, this Facebook page. And one person says, I wish I knew how to speak English. Well, that's <laughs> that goes without saying. I mean, it's necessary for, you know, getting around in the Netherlands. So just try to make your English um, as good as you can. It doesn't matter if you have an accent, we all have an accent. Like I have an accent, Dutch people have an accent, British people have an accent, American people have an accent, everyone has an accent. So don't worry and just try to talk and make yourself, and make yourself understood. And uh, yeah, just try to improve your grammar as much as you can. I mean, I don't nearly speak perfect English, but I think people understand me, I hope. Uh, another tip is working as a teaching assistant at the university is possible for students and is properly paid. Oh, that's a very cool tip. I was, mm, I mean, I, I knew it was possible, but I never really looked into this. So if you're interested in that and you feel, if you feel like you could be an assistant for like the lower uh, years, then just go for it. Just try it, talk to the teachers, like, oh, I would be interested in being an assistant and who knows, you might as well get some extra cash. Uh, okay, uh, another one that they are telling me is the free bike parking. 
so basically like almost everywhere parking your bike is for free uh, perhaps at the train stations it can be for a fee depends where uh, but most places uh, have just free bike parking you just need to put them usually into this like bike mm, what are they called holders you know not just somewhere thrown on the ground always lock your bike because although the netherlands is in general a safe country and it has happened even to me that i forgot to lock my bike and when i came back it was fortunately still there it also happens that you know bikes get stolen so try to get a proper lock i will recommend your shop i will leave an image here it's called action there you can get a quite cheap lock that is actually pretty good uh, but if you have like a very nice bike i would invest like into a very expensive lock because well it will pay off and never leave one of those bikes that can be like easily dismantled you know like those that have like the bikes that you can like click off you know one of those that have the wheels that you can just click off just don't do that i mean um during my years studying in nijmegen my my bike uh Okay, so we left overnight our bikes at the campus with a friend of mine and her bike got the bags stolen and my bike got uh, didn't get the bags stolen because they were broken so it's kind of good to have like something broken on your bike because it makes it less interesting to robbers or yeah vandals I guess mm, but later on the same year I left my bike um, Okay, so my bike got a flat tire, so I couldn't get to the place where I wanted to and I had to walk and I left my bike at a random spot. I mean, it was a proper bike holder. I think it was next to a bus stop, actually. And my bike got totally vandalized, like somebody just broke everything. So these things happen. I mean, the Netherlands is an amazing country and it's in general very safe, but there is bike cram, okay? So the bikes get robbed, the bikes get vandalized, like my bike. I was so sad, I, I, I actually cried, like, it was my nice bike. You know, you get really attached to your bike when you live here, so... It happens, just be careful with your bike, okay? One thing I forgot to mention is that you will need a Dutch bank account uh, to get the subscription for your Ovi chip card. So, in case you don't have one yet, um, try to maybe get a friend to pay for it and, like, you send them the money or just try to do it as soon as you get your Dutch bank account like not just like be like oh I will get it later because yeah then you don't get around to do it and then it's more expensive and you have to buy like these tickets like loose tickets and that's so expensive just don't do that so that's a good tip another option is that you can actually um, buy groceries online I actually haven't tried it yet uh, I always go buy bike but uh, it's it's apparently possible and i don't think it's much more expensive so definitely look into it if you are not into like cycling with all your food or you know you don't want to take the bus i'm a person who prefers to like actually go and like see if my you know mangoes are actually okay uh, but definitely if you consider it more convenient check like check out albert Heijn online or just like the supermarket where you know you like to go online uh, I don't think Lidl and Albi have this option, not that I'm aware of, but I'm pretty sure Jumbo and Albert Heijn can possibly have it. Yeah. A last tip I would like to give you is try to figure out all the facilities that your university has. Like, I'm pretty sure every university has a gym, uh, they have the possibility to learn foreign languages, of course for a bit of an extra fee, but it's still probably cheaper than like the market price. Uh, get to know about all the clubs, all the associations and um, yeah and try to like learn about all this in advance because it will definitely help you uh, when you come here because when once you arrive here you will have like so much to do and with the studies so yeah you want to reach this like kind of balance in life where you like also do fun stuff and do sports and be healthy and you know just live a normal life despite being a student so yeah you get me uh so yeah just try to figure out all the other options uh before you actually arrive here and well wish you a lot of good luck with your studies in the netherlands and i hope you like this video if you have already been here and have some extra tips for other people don't forget to like leave them down below in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe give me a like if you like this video if it has helped you 
And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.